Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to be making a noodle bowl. Um, don't have a real name for it, but it's gonna have uh, really good crispy fried tofu, um, veggies, noodles. Okay, so I'm using one of these things. Tofu is cooking and it's getting crispy. I just leave it a little bit longer. Around, but I think it's ready to turn. Okay. So as pieces just start getting fried, just start flipping them and moving them around in different parts of the pan. You want to turn the pan back up and then add in cold oil so it's like smoking up a little bit while the pan's really hot we're gonna start throwing in cabbage and onions well all the vegetables to be not super soft but I definitely want the cabbage to be like cooked a lot more than everything else. You want like a char on it. And if you like your vegetables to be super crispy, just don't cook them as long and they'll be fine. Okay. This is in somewhere. Now we'll do the cabbage. I do want to do the broccoli separate probably because I do want the broccoli to have some like crisp to it. Probably little pieces. Also, if you have a wok, use a wok. I don't have a wok. I probably will get one. Maybe at this point I would say add a little soy sauce, but I'm out of soy sauce. So I'm not gonna do that. See, everything is cooking really quickly. Yeah, the pan's up really high. I'm gonna do mushrooms. And we'll do the garlic last because they want it to not burn and for it to have a very garlicky taste. At this point, I will add salt. I know that probably looked like a lot, but the thing is small. I like ginger, so I add a lot. Teeny, teeny, tiny drop of browning because you don't want it to be black, but you want a color on it, and I'm out of soy sauce. Just add really the smallest drop and then mix it and then do it again if it's not dark enough. Okay, you can turn this down. Veggies are cooked. Add the garlic. Again, lots of fresh garlic because you want it to taste, I want it to taste very garlicky. Um, use this lime, use the other two for like on top, but I'm gonna squeeze in some lime juice. Okay, and then the garlic smells really nice. It's just now starting to get cooked, but it's gonna cook slowly and it's not gonna burn. Yeah, this smells really good. All right, and the veggies are nice and cooked and soft. Now we can, where do I wanna put these? So I'll put, put the jalapenos in now. But these I don't really want to cook down that much, but I'll put them in for some more color. And then I'll take all of this off and then do the broccolini because that's going to go on top of the tofu. And that we just want to fry it really quick and then steam it really quick. So that is like crunchy still. Okay, now it's on like super low heat. Yeah, this smells really good gonna be really good. So now this is done, just put this into a bowl. 
and then divide it. Okay. That's good. Now turn it back up super high. Wait till it starts getting smoky. So make sure you have a top ready to sort of cover it once the broccoli does start to fry up because um, then we want to steam it a little bit. And this is the tofu again. It's crispy, sticky. That's really good. But for the noodles, we're going to be using Szechuan sauce. I don't know how people do this. It's very bright. Szechuan sauce. Right, this feels hot again. They're like fresh noodles and maybe I could have boiled them before, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, maybe I'll put them in like a little bit of water on the pan, but I don't think I want to boil them because I don't want them to be like super squishy. Just throw them in. So no more oil, just throw them in because um, hopefully they'll get like, you know, kind of charred. Do that for a second until it starts smelling like broccolini. And then I'm literally going to add just a little bit of water. I'll do salt first. Put a little bit of salt on them. And then, as soon as you add the water, cover it so it steams a little bit. We want to stir it a little bit. Okay, so we really want it to be like super green like super bright. So, turn this down now to low and we'll leave that. He's getting like super green now. We'll leave that for like a second. And this stuff is just Szechuan pepper sauce. Um, it's kind of sweet. It's really good. So yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna say this is done. Well, See how bright green it is? It's nice and pretty. Get some water. Put them in here. And I will use some water and like steam them. So maybe that'll break them up nicer. These are done. These are gonna put back on the cutting board so they don't keep cooking. And so they stay like this. Mm -hmm. Yes, pretty green broccolini. I think I'll have this piece. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Before you can start breaking up the noodles. I actually wish I would use more of this because this is really good. I stop eating now. Those are starting to swell up pretty nicely. Okay, now they're starting to get soft. I don't want them to be too soft. I cook them for a little bit longer and then drain out this. Actually. We'll cook them until the water, like a little bit of water, until it evaporates. Not completely, but a good amount. Just keep stirring them so they don't get stuck. I guess you probably want to be more gentle than I was since I broke so many of them before, but they're mostly still together. So now I turn this down and start seasoning the noodles. This, I don't know how much. We'll just do a spoonful. And see what that does. We're gonna turn this up high style. A little bit of browning. It's gonna make them darker. That is good. Garlic powder, even though we use fresh garlic in the veggie mixture. Okay, I think that was way too much. 
I know that's fine. Those are the noodles. I'm gonna taste one. Some of the sweet as I want them. We'll do a very teeny, teeny, tiny bit of brown sugar and water. Yeah, very teeny, teeny, tiny bit. A little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of water. We'll make them sweeter with a little bit more of lime. Okay, and also something that's good and salty but has a lot of flavor. We have Maggie cubes. Throw in one Maggie cube. Kind of hard to open, but they're really tiny. Okay, if I miss, then I open up like that. So we'll do one Maggie cube. It's kind of like bouillon or like broth. If you don't know, just crush it up, mix it together, and it should just melt with the noodles, I hope. Okay. And then, see they're really sticky, add some more oil, so they're slippery. And then we'll add the veggies. When it's still on low, we'll just mix all that together. Wow, these look so good. Look at all these colors. Yum. Mix that together. Give a noodle another taste. I feel like it needs salt. It does not need salt, so don't put any more in. Now I'll throw in the scallion. I want that to cook very gently, because this has really good flavor. Don't want it to be overcooked or super soft. And I'll just toss that in with the noodles. I also don't anticipate this being as spicy as I need it. So we'll put a little bit of cayenne in it now. Put it with red pepper flakes and chili oil. We'll do a little bit of cayenne. Just a teeny bit. Okay. Oh shit, I keep making a mess. The scallion's almost as cooked as I want. Oh, this looks really good though. Maybe I would change soaking the noodles, not boiling them, but soaking them in some water first so that they break up. Aside from that, no regrets. Okay, so I think that's done. Yeah, so here it is again. We've got noodle bowl with cabbage, carrots, red onion, scallion, jalapenos, broccolini, lime, and on top, black sesame seeds, hot chili oil, red pepper flakes. Um, yeah, oh, and crispy fried tofu with the sweet sauce on the outside. Very nice.